Many women exhibit red flags that will destroy a man's life if he ignores them. If you are overconfident and believe it can't happen to you, you are being foolish. The reality is, it doesn't matter how sweet and beautiful a woman may appear. The most beautiful things are sometimes the most toxic. If you ignore red flags in women or are too arrogant to learn about them, you will pay the price sooner or later. In this video, we will go over 8 red flags in women that will destroy your life if you ignore them. Make sure you stick around till the end because the last one might just be the most important. Number 1. Promiscuous Past No man wants a woman who has a high body count. The modern and feminized world will tell you that you are insecure for this, but every man will feel a sense of disgust no matter how they try to shame you for it. Why? Women are born with inherent value, so they must preserve it, whereas men are typically expected to create their own value. Moreover, since it's easy for women to get sex, there is nothing admirable about a woman racking up a high body count. In fact, the more men she has slept with in the past, the lower her inherent value becomes, which reflects poorly on the man who chooses to commit to her despite all her red flags. This is exemplified by the situation involving Logan Paul and his fiancée, Nina Agdal, which may very well cost him his reputation. Studies have shown that the more sexual partners a woman has had, the more difficult it becomes for her to peer bond and form a strong connection with the man. The reality is, we don't even need to look at studies to know this. It is something that has always been understood since the beginning of time. Every man's biggest fear is raising a child as his own, only to later discover that the child isn't his. In the olden days, the only way to ensure paternity was to marry a virgin. Nowadays, we have DNA testing and other modern conventions to help with this. However, these modern conventions do not change the fact that most men are biologically hardwired to prefer women with fewer sexual partners. Women often compare their current boyfriend to their exes, so if she has a high number of previous relationships, there is a higher likelihood that she'll want to end the relationship the moment she starts feeling dissatisfied, especially if one of her exes was a high-value man and you're not. Number 2. Fangirl Can you imagine your girl going crazy over a rapper to the point where she wants to touch the rapper's shoes at a concert or put pictures of him everywhere? As with the first red flag we covered, most men are hardwired to feel disgusted by this. This feeling isn't present for no reason. It's because you innately know she is not supposed to worship another man like this. You could choose to ignore this feeling because you think it's no big deal, or even allow yourself to get brainwashed by feminism. But the fact still remains that she considers that other man to be better than you. If she had the opportunity to leave you behind and have his babies, she would forget about you in a heartbeat. Think about that for a second. She will run full speed towards him just to take a picture with him. If that doesn't tell you she considers this man to be your superior, you are a fool. Number 3. Male Friends When a woman has male friends, it's time to bounce. A lot of people will call you jealous or insecure for this. Do not listen to them. Women and feminized men in particular do not understand what is wrong with this. This is because many of them do not understand the male and female dynamic or pretend they don't. It is truly pathetic. At any other time in history, no man would ever let his woman be friends with a tribe of men. Can you imagine leaving your wife behind with her so-called male friends who are full of testosterone? It is only in the modern world that people will pretend sexual tension does not exist. They pretend male and female nature isn't a thing. Ask yourself this. What are the benefits of any man having female friends? There are no benefits. The only reason these so-called male friends stick around is because they are waiting for the moment she allows the slightest opening for sexual activity to take place. The moment this happens, you will see the mask fall off as they turn into a hungry hyena. As for the woman, there are numerous benefits to having male friends. They can fix things for her, pay her bills, and protect her. It is a game some women play. Reaping all the benefits from her fake friendships with guys she friendzoned without reciprocating anything in return. The reality is that sooner or later she will let her guard down, and something sexual is bound to happen. Do not let the modern world fool you into thinking men and women are the same. The male and female dynamic is a very real thing. Just notice how the entire atmosphere changes when a girl walks into a room full of men. Number 4. Daddy Issues We have all seen girls with daddy issues, and it's never a good look. When a girl doesn't have a masculine father figure in her life, she will crave attention from other men. And because she doesn't know what that masculine love looks like, she is more likely to fall in love with men who don't respect or care about her. 
Now, are there girls who lacked a father figure and didn't end up going down this destructive path with other men? Absolutely. But the red flag still remains. Why? It's because they didn't grow up seeing their mother following their father's lead as the head of the household. If a girl hasn't been taught how to respect a strong masculine figure, there is a good chance she will not know how to properly respect you. There are always exceptions to the rule, but more often than not, it is better to find a girl who looks up to her father and has a good relationship with him. Number 5. Promiscuous Friends She may not be the sweet and innocent girl you imagined her to be. We are all the average of the five people we spend the most time with, and women are no exception. If her friends are all promiscuous and have hooked up with a bunch of guys, there is a good chance she is the same. If it is just one friend, you could decide to give her a chance under the condition that she breaks contact with that friend. But even in that situation, you will always have to keep that red flag in mind and be quick to recognize patterns. Now, if she has multiple friends who are promiscuous, that is a huge red flag. Never underestimate the influence of her friends. Number 6. Nasty. Many beautiful women are only beautiful on the surface, so don't let their superficial beauty fool you. At their core, many of these so-called bad b****s are extremely filthy individuals. They will pretend to be Miss Goody Two-Shoes out in public, but behind closed doors, their living space is a mess. Before you get too excited about the idea of dating a beautiful woman, ask yourself this. What does her room look like? Does she clean herself frequently? And how does she clean up after herself? Superficial beauty can be deceiving, and truthfully, some of the most beautiful women are also some of the dirtiest women. Never forget that. Number 7. Constantly seeking attention. Nothing is worse than a woman who constantly wants to be noticed and watched by other people. If she constantly overtalks you or is louder than you, she is not only trying to be the center of attention, but is also attempting to emasculate you. It is the furthest thing from femininity. A feminine woman knows how to take feedback and listen, instead of running her mouth and being loud and obnoxious. Number 8. Always mocking you. Most men let women mock them and don't take it seriously enough. Here is the truth. The more disrespect you tolerate from people, particularly women, the more frequently that disrespect will come your way. If she is mocking your goals, that is already a sign of disrespect, and you need to make sure it never takes place ever again. The same goes for her raising her voice at you, or throwing small insults around when she is angry. Now, does this mean that there is never any room for bantering between you and her? Of course not. But there is a fine line between bantering versus her throwing actual insults at you. These things might seem small, but they are all huge red flags. If you don't rule them out or address them as early as possible, you can rest assured that they will end up costing you in the future, just as they are currently costing Logan Paul. If this video was helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next video.